It's time for Friday Night Flights, sponsored by Casey Auto Group, Subway, Flipper McCoys, and Town Bank. Welcome to a special playoff edition of Friday Night Flights. I'm Brian Parsons. 16 area teams still alive for state football championships. Tonight, the region semifinals. And I'm Nathan Epstein. What do you say we get started off in Class 6 Region A? Is this the year for Ocean Lakes? The Dolphins undefeated 11-0, the top seed in the region, taking on the four seed Cox. Why don't we go to the Sportsplex? Cox in the white jerseys came in with a 9-2 record. Uh, Brian, quarterback Davion Robinson committed to play Virginia Tech. Missed a few games with a knee injury a few weeks back. And he looks pretty good there. He looks healthy there. 40 yards to the end zone, 14-7 Cox. Now, a few drives later, we're all tied to 14. Robinson again. What did you say he looked like he was doing here? Just He's, he's gliding. <laughs> and he glides all the way into the end zone. They got no answer for him. Falcons went into the locker room, leading 28-17. Third quarter, though. Brian, we talk all the time about special teams. Here's your game changer. Ocean Lake's punting. Oh, Cox hoping to add on to their lead. Robinson muffs it. All three phases. All three phases. And recovered by Ocean Lake's ensuing drive. Xander Jetlig, the senior. Logan Eastry, two-point conversion's also good. We got a three-point game. Cox, though, still leads it. Another crucial play here. Fourth quarter, Cox going forward on fourth down. Dolphins have Robinson wrapped up. And again, the Dolphins take advantage. They have their own Tavion. Tavion Land. He'll play, it, he'll play at Maryland. Yep, Tank. Bad snap, but still ends up a touchdown for the senior with the nickname Tank. Dolphins lead at 32-28 late fourth quarter. Cox looking for the stop. Ocean Lakes will salt it away. Jet Leg walks it in. Ocean Lakes moving on with a 39-28 comeback win. Still perfect on the year. Brian. Why don't you tell me who they're going to be playing next? Well, that would be the winner of the other Region 6A semifinal. 10-1 and one, Oscar Smith, the two seed against six seed Lanstown. Look at those crazy fans. <laughs> Scoreless in the first. Now, a third down play here for Lanstown. TJ Tucker for Oscar Smith. Looks like he's going to have the interception, oh! but no. Javille Painter comes up with it, and that is going to be a first down for the Eagles. Now, Lanstown could not punch it into the end zone, so they settle for the special teams play. A field goal by Cole Arnold. Lansdowne up three to nothing. All three. Second All three quarter. Phases. Oscar Smith driving and look at this concentration. Nakey Williams. Oh, uh, 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 uh. yep. Tip concentration. Drill. Hangs on to it. Gets a couple of extra yards and, but it's going to end up being a fourth down play here for Oscar Smith. Cameron Kelly, the future Auburn Tiger, short of the first down. So Lansdowne hanging in there. Now Oscar Smith would get the ball back, and the tar Tigers started to get their mojo back. Aaron Acevedo. 22 yards for number 22. Short in stature, but he is fast. All year long. <laughs> Same drive. Cameron Kelly, look at this one. Perfect pass to Jarius <laughs> Howard. Oscar Smith takes a 73 lead. That was 24 yards. And then 38 seconds left in the half. Oscar Smith, you've seen it all year long, Nathan. It's so much the fun big to watch. Play. Cameron Kelly, Brandon Brock. This one, 73 yards. Oscar Smith led 14 to 3 at the half, and the Tigers go on. To defeat Lansdowne 35 to 3. By the way, five touchdowns for Cameron Kelly. He is unreal. Well, you know what? Ask and we shall receive. It's the matchup we were all hoping for yes. Ocean Lakes against Oscar Smith for the region title. The winner moves on to the state semifinals. Oscar Smith trying to get to their fourth championship game in a row. Now, in Class 5, teams we've been chasing, well, teams that have been chasing Indian River all season long. The top seed Braves came into tonight's game against Nansman River with a perfect record, but Brian, this one a little interesting. Yeah, Indian River averages 45 points a game, and the Braves defense has also pitched five shutouts. Tonight's game against Nansman River, a rematch from a game earlier in the year that Indian River won 42-6. to Indian River wearing blue, an early mistake. Center Tony Shaw mishandles the snap in. Nansman River recovers the fumble, and Nansman River going to capitalize. But John Gordon, the quarterback keeper, look at this run, going the other way. Wing T. 66 <laughs> yards for the touchdown, 7 to nothing. Nansman River, but Indian River going to respond. Terrell Spruill gets the handoff. Just a 7-yard touchdown score, and uh, Spruill wasn't done yet. This time, Braves go to the air. Dominic Brooks, he's got time. And he finds Spruill, who takes it 34 yards in for the score. Now, Nansen River back on offense, and this time it's the Warriors that mishandle the snap. Uh -oh. And Deshaun Moore there for the recovery. And Deshaun Moore 
going to be rewarded. He gets the handoff and he's going to take it in for the score. Indian River moves on. Braves in a pretty close game over the Nancy River Warriors, 28 to 8 winners. What do they always say, Brian? Though wins a win. Yep. In the other Class Five semifinal, two seed Salem with a strong defense hosting three seed Mori and their electric offense. This was a crazy game. Third quarter, Mori and White up 21-14. Salem running back, you know his name, Kalon Black. Direct snap, 29 yards for the score. Two point conversion though, no good. Mori still leading when Commodores quarterback Alvante Lawton hits receiver Keandre Lambert. Brian, this is Cam Chancellor's nephew. No way. Spin move, 70 yards. Sideline score. So Maury trying to punt the ball away. Uh oh. We got to talk about all three phases. Oh, no. Snap goes over the punnel. Luker Weber's head kicks it out of the end zone for a Salem safety. Now Salem in the fourth quarter looking to tie it up. Running back Lex Henry has it for the score, and we're all knotted at 28. We go now less than nine seconds to play. Maury going for the lead, and Luca Weber talk about redemption. Cold-blooded on this cold night. Field goal, yes sir! And Maury wins a thriller. How about the Commodores? Moving on to the region championship with a 31-28 win. It heads up play by Luca Weber to kick it out to settle for the safety instead of potentially being at seven points there. So here's uh, next week's region 5A championship game. It's the Maury Commodores 11-1 against the top seed undefeated Indian River. This is going to be a pretty interesting matchup and a trip to the state championship game will be on the line in this contest. When we come back in Region 4A, Lake Taylor Lafayette appear to be on a collision course to meet in next week's region title game. But first, the Titans and Rams need to take care of business in the region semifinals. That's up next. Plus, in the Region 3A, top seed Phoebus with its hands full against four seed York, also an upset in the other 3A region playoff game. That's next on a playoff edition of Friday Night Lights. An encore presentation of the Friday Night Flights Band of the Week. We had so many great performances this season, and this is one of our favorites, the Princess Anne High School Marching Band. And you can see performances of all of the bands of the week. Just go to wavy.com and click on Sports Friday Night Flights. And by the and way, props, yeah, your, your favorite band. Well, and props to all the bands this year with all that crazy weather we had. All oh, that's right. Before. Yeah, they, we got them all in. Got Some them of them in. indoors, too. Yeah. In the other Region 4A semifinals, the always disciplined Lafayette Rams undefeated this season. The Rams winning by an average of 40 points a game this year. They look awesome, and they know what it means to play this late in the season. The four seed Warhill, though, came into tonight's game riding a three game win streak. In fact, though, the Lions' last loss, 26 to 3, happened to be against. Lafayette. Pretty so close let's game. go to Wanner Stadium in Williamsburg. Lafayette students, yeah, they know how to put on a party. Warhill in the white jerseys, down 21 0 in the second quarter, looking for anything. Quarterback TJ Davis has the ball knocked loose by Isaac Duncan. Rams with a tough defense get the ball right back. Brian, check this out. Duncan makes the play on defense. Come on, who are you giving it to? Go right back to him. Other end, sheds the tackle, fights his way into the end zone, extends the Lafayette lead. It's 28 to nothing. More offense from Lafayette. One of the few times they threw the ball. Zach knew, I don't know, he almost looks like Brett Favre throwing that thing up off his back foot. Tyler Neville comes down with it. Nice catch. And then Demario Tyler right up the middle. All Rams tonight, 49 to nothing. They would have a certain title favorite, I'm assuming, from north of Wake. Okay, we'll see about that. <laughs> At the other class for a region semifinal, 10 and 1 Lake Taylor against Kings Fork, the sixth seed. Lake Taylor in black. Jeffrey Foster, the long ball Nine. to Javon Harvey. That would be a 60 yard touchdown pass. The Titans rolling on both sides of the ball. A long night for Kings Fork Bulldogs in, in all three phases, including special teams here. They can't handle the snap on the punt attempt, and oh, no. Lake Taylor going to get the ball at the two yard line. Obviously, you can't do that, and that sets up another Titans touchdown. Jeffrey Foster, the score, and where does he take this one, Nathan? Right into your living room. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Titans not letting up Dominic McNair. It's the last episode. we got to make good of this. <laughs> going to bust through the line. He's not going to score in that play. He's eventually brought down at the one-yard line. Oh, the one-yard line. But, obviously, Lake Taylor is just... Actually, no, they don't punch it in. It's another field goal special <laughs> team. All three phases. Jaquan Davis 
It helps to have a kicker in the playoffs. That, uh, it, it, it could come down to a oh, yes. kick Special in the teams. playoffs. Just ask Lake Taylor. They've, they've been in that position several yeah. times over the past <laughs> several years. I think I know what Kings Fork win, uh, loses 42 to nothing. So that sets up another great matchup next week, Class 4A Region Championship game. It'll be Lake Taylor, 11-1 of the season, against the top seed, undefeated Lafayette. And the winner moves on to the state semifinal game. Well, it's going to be a great game. <laughs> now, moving on to Class 3, perennial playoff power. Phoebus is the top seed. The Phantoms 10 and 1 heading into tonight's semifinal game. And Phoebus, by the way, talking, uh, taking on the York Falcons, who have won three in a row, which, coincidentally enough, we're all three point victories. Three points. Three, three is the magic number. So, to Darling Stadium and defensive showdown first half. Phantoms, Charles Daniels avoids the sack, scrambles, launches it downfield. Talon Dixon. Gets dragged down from behind, but still a great play all the way to the 15-yard line. That's going to set up this touchdown pass. Another scrambling Daniels. This time he hits Barry Hargrave Jr. End zone. Yes, sir. 7-0 first half score. Phoebus beats York 21-13. to Also in 3A, Norcom, the three seed, making the trip to take on the two seed undefeated Hopewell. And not a good start for Norcom. Hopewell's Daniel Greer to Travion Henderson. And Hopewell takes the early six to nothing lead. They miss the extra point. That would be key. Norcom going to respond. Jacoby Smith to Kassan Dixon. Dixon, ooh, he loses the ball in the end zone. But, but, oh, Salon Lawrence recovers it. <laughs> right Greyhounds, place, right time. Seven to six lead for the Greyhounds. A one point lead. And here's where Norcom puts the Blue Devils away. Smith to a wide open Cron Prunty for the score. Norcom pulls off the road upset 14 to 12, handing Hopewell his first loss of the season. Two missed extra points. The difference in the ballgame. How about the Greyhounds, though? That means Norcom one win away from the state semifinal. Greyhounds take on the Phoebus Phantoms in the region championship. And finally, in Region 2A, Pocosin, the Bull Islanders, the three seed, knocks off two seed Amelia County 24 to 14. Pocosin moves on to the state semifinals. They face off against Goochland. So that is going to wrap it up for the playoff edition of Friday Night Flights. Nathan, we got some pretty cool matchups coming up next week. Uh, and state semifinals, we got Lafayette, we got Lake Taylor, we got Oscar Smith, Ocean Lakes. It's going to be fun. And boy, what a fun season. Or you can see the river. It's going to be great. Hey, it's been, it's been a lot of fun all season. By the way, Bruce Rader, been here anchoring it all week, all year. So it's been fun. Hey, we'll see you next week for the region championship games.